going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at nine different pickleball paddles, all that I've purchased on my own, no sponsorships. Going to give you the first look, the stats, the greediness, super high level view on what I like, don't like, and my first take on all the paddles. I played a few times with each paddle, so we'll go through what I liked, what I didn't like, and come what kind of the feel and play style that would fit best for what player. To start it off, this is what I've been using the past two years, hence why I went and upgraded paddles. It is basically super smooth, short handle, there's rattling to it inside there, but don't let the paddle fool you. I played really, really well with this paddle and done plenty well against uh, four O's, four fives um, with a broken paddle because the play makes up 95% of you, the player, not the paddle. Obviously, the higher up you get, the more difference the paddle makes. But if you're starting out, go get a Woody or go get um, a low end graphite paddle, practice with it, get good with it. And then once you start playing more and more and you need to hit those shots um, or get the spin or up the skill set, that's when you can go upgrade for the $100 plus or $200 plus paddle. To start it off, we're gonna go with the DDM or Diadem. Um, I've heard both ways, Icon. Right now these are on clearance because the new version is going out. Um, MSRP is 160, I got these both for 100. Um, but I like the look of them, the feel is really good. The handle's pretty long. I really like um, the white and blue a little bit better than the pink and blue, um, but both feel really good. They're a pretty thin face, carbon fiber face, super thin, so more of a power paddle. Um, I just had trouble adjusting because my paddle was a little bit older and these have just so much more power, it's hard to control all my shots. So they played really well. I feel like if I played with it a little bit longer, I could get used to it. But like I said, it's sharp. Pretty long handle, like I said. Five and a half inch handle, which I really like. It doesn't have the ridges. Some have the stitched ridges. This is just pure um, smooth. The face of it has a little bit of grip to it. Not as gritty as you would see some other paddles today. We're going to walk through. But the edge guard is nice. It's not super bulky. Um, again, this is a really thin face of the paddle here. Made for more power players. On their website it says 0.45 inches, so um, in millimeters it's just under 12 millimeters thick, so definitely power kind of size of the paddle and thickness of the paddle here versus a 16 or 18 millimeter paddle. Overall, it wasn't bad, um, just different than my play style. Um, I already have a decent amount of power in my play just because of what I like to do, but if you have some shoulder or elbow issues, you can't swing quite as hard, or you're just maybe an older player and just want to get some more power into your game, you can definitely use this and do a half swing, get plenty of power into your shot there, especially if you're on the back line. You can always make sure you hit it um, over the other side of the net. I did not like it, um, but it's not playing my style, but definitely give it a shot, especially since it's 100 bucks now. The new one's gonna be coming out, so probably when you see this video, the new one's already out. I imagine it'll be a little bit similar with just maybe some updated technology, the link will be in the description of all the stats for all these paddles as well. This next paddle is the SLK Halo. This one looks really sharp. Probably my favorite look overall. The gum brown is really, really nice. Um, doesn't have the stitched ridges as you'll see in some other paddles here. Um, but a smoother grip, a um, little bit shorter of a grip, not qu quite as long as the five and a half inch, um, but just super sharp. Carbon fiber face. Um, just looks and feels really good. Uh, this is also more of a power paddle. 13 millimeter face. I mean, again, a little bit more uh, forgiveness because of the carbon fiber versus fiberglass, but for my play style, I liked it a lot. It just took a little bit getting used to uh, with all the shots that I hit. But um, this isn't super expensive. It's 140 bucks, so kind of middle range for pricing. Um, but again, it looks really sharp. Um, the length of it's pretty nice at a 16 inch paddle or 16 inch length. Um, and the shape of it's really nice too. So you'll get kind of a good balance of both worlds. I prefer a little bit longer paddle versus the shorter ones, um, but again, Really enjoyed this, felt really good, and probably the best looking paddle, or one of the top three looking paddles there is, in my opinion, just because of the brown. But overall, solid choice for a decently uh, well-priced paddle. Next paddle is the Omega Evolution Elite by Engage. Um, this one, I didn't think I would like because of the shape of it, but I actually really, really liked the, the overall feel of it. Um, the look of it's really cool. Um, it has the ridge stitching, like I said, which I'm not a huge fan of maybe the ridge stitching. I like more of a smooth, but it's definitely not bad. But the grip of this, you can probably hear just how sticky it is. It was awesome. The feel of it's really good. It is a thin face at 9.5 millimeters, um, but it felt like there was some pretty good give on it. So maybe it was just a little bit of a placebo, um, but it felt like I could smoke it and also hit my shots and hit the hit the spots that I was aiming for versus just blasting out of the court every single time. So this will run you about 150 bucks, depending on um, if you find it online or not, if you find any deals on it. Um, but just under 16 inches for the length of it, so not too bad. And all again, it looks really sharp. The yellow and black is pretty cool looking, but overall, pretty solid um, mid style paddle for power players and field players alike. Next up is the Onyx Evoke Premier. Um, and as you know, previously I showed you my old paddle was an Onyx um, or Onyx. This wasn't a terrible paddle, but for some reason I just had trouble controlling some of the pop to it. Um, I just felt inconsistent with what I was hitting. Um, I hit a lot of shots out and a lot of returns out versus a lot of times other paddles. 
I'm able to place it right in the back line. So I think it takes getting used to. This is a 13 millimeter paddle, so I'm a pretty, pretty thin, more power oriented. It has a decent grip, grit on it. Not too bad for 150 bucks. Um, probably not my go-to just because of my play style and just the feel of it. Um, but definitely go give it a shot um, if you want to go check it out. Onyx, I mean, I, I like it. Some people are not Onyx fans, but I've used it for years um, and liked it a lot. Just the new one's a little bit different. I prefer some other paddles I tested out instead. But kind of a mid-handle here, mid-length handle, um, pretty long face, which I liked. Um, the look of it's pretty cool with just the white and black that comes in, I think black and red and blue for some other colors. But again, not my favorite paddle, but for 150 bucks. You can always go check it out and return it if you don't like it, but um, good power paddle, but not quite as much touch. That's one of the paddles that I tested out. <clears throat> this is the next one you see um, probably around with the hole in it, the Selkirk uh, Vanguard Power Air. Um, this is the mid-weight version versus the light versions, a few tenths of an ounce lighter than this, but um, this one has a pretty short handle, pretty cool face. This one's okay. This runs you about 250 bucks. Um, I got it for like 220 I think, with a discount, a promo code, but the grit here, Decent amount of grit and placement. I think it just got in my head a little bit with the hole because every time I try to block a shot, I just feel like I was going to hit it funny. It wasn't a bad pile, not my favorite, not my least favorite, but probably top five. I think it just takes getting used to. There's no edge guard on this one, uh, which is pretty cool. A little bit more of a thinner um, face at 13 millimeters. Um, not quite as thin as some, but not the 16s that we'll see kind of later on in this video. Overall decent. It does run a pretty penny for it. Um, obviously, if you're more of a casual player, um, buy the $150 paddle or the mid 100s versus the 250. But if you have some spare change and we really want to go chest out this paddle, um, go go to world. It's pretty unique, pretty fun to play with. Again, not my cup of tea just because of kind of the style of it. Um, I think it just takes any use to though because I see a lot of people playing with it and some shots felt great. Some of it just wasn't quite what I wanted to feel from it. The next panel here is the Gearbox CX-14. This one was one of, probably one of my favorite panels. Top three of the ones that I tested. Um, the grit to it. It's super nice. It's basically indestructible because it's a pure carbon build. Super cool looking, super slick. Has a pretty long face as well. A little bit more of a longer handle. I felt like I had some pretty good balance to this with power and also location and touch and feel. Just super nice. Uh, played with probably three or four games with this one and just overall a really solid paddle. It's going to run you about 200 bucks though, which is a little bit more on the pricey end. So maybe go to a pickleball shop, give it a shot, or buy one online, give it a test run, see if you like it or not. But as far as like longevity for a paddle goes, you're not going to break it and also feel and touch and also the grit to it. Super nice, super cool looking paddle. Give this one a shot. If you're kind of a mixed player um, and want something that's going to last just a really long time because you don't want to go buy a whole bunch of paddles every single year because they break. So super solid, probably top three for playability and just paddle I liked overall. This next one's the Holbrook Stinger and this one looks probably the coolest of all of them with the carbon fiber face there and you can hear some pretty good grit there. Definitely a longer face and a shorter handle, at least as far as ratios go. The thickness is 14.2, so a little over 14 millimeter thickness there, so good balance. Um, I like to play one game with this. It was pretty short, but I like just the overall feel of it. Touch of it's nice. The grip has kind of the, the ridged stitching, which again, isn't my probably forte, but um, if you like that, great. I would prefer kind of the smoother one, but it felt really good. As far as the spin and touch goes, it's kind of the, the mid play where you have some power and you want some more touch. Um, or an overall just a middle player game who wants kind of a good balance of power and touch. This is going to run about 180 bucks, depending on where you get it online. Some places you'll be able to get it cheaper just because of discounts, but probably a top three paddle as far as touch goes. Really liked it. Super fun to play with and looks super sharp. This next one is the Electrum Model E, and I'll compare this similar to the one I just went through. The grip on this, kind of that just carbon feel, carbon weave. So a decent amount of grittiness, um, some good forgiveness. It looks really sharp, just the black and yellow is really nice. The grip here, a little bit more of a longer grip, has the stitching, um, so not quite as flat as I would like, but overall, still felt really good. The shape of it's really cool. Um, I like a little bit lo the longer face versus the shorter and wider, um, but really good feel, really good kind of mid paddle as far as touch and power goes. This is a 16 millimeter thickness, so definitely more of a control paddle versus a power paddle, but I still feel like I could rip it if I wanted to. So if you're kind of a mid player looking to get some good blocks in and good placement shots and have some good power, already in your game. You can check this out. This is going to be about 180 bucks depending on where you get it. Uh, I got mine just online, um, but definitely you can check out the, the cool finish of it. They have a few different models um, with some different kind of finishes on it, some different styles, but this is one I got a little bit more power um, kind of blend there, but it feels really good, looks really good. Um, you should definitely check it out if you're wanting kind of a mid-priced paddle for kind of a mid 
power play game. Lastly, we have the Carbon 2. Um, I played with this one quite a bit. Um, I know they have the newer version that came out, which has a little bit, uh, some different features on it. This is a 13 millimeter, it's a little bit more power, uh, but I felt like this is probably my favorite play paddle that I played with as far as overall, just touch and feel goes. The grip is similar to the other carbon um, faces that we had. The face of it is pretty grippy, similar to the other carbon faces we looked at today. The look of it's really, really cool, just the black and white's pretty sharp. It's not quite as long, it's a little bit more shorter and wider, which honestly didn't really mind too much. Um, the grip's flat, it's not stitched, the one that I got, which I really liked, but the overall um, feel and touch of this is probably one of my favorites of the nine that I tested. This will run you about 180 bucks, so kind of a mid-price, mid-to-high-price paddle. Be fun to go check it out. Um, overall forgiveness is great. I'm assuming the newer version is just as good. You can check out the Pickleball Studio with Chris Olson. He did an in-depth review on the newer versions of this, but you can definitely check this out for an overall playable paddle that looks really sharp, doesn't cost you 200 bucks, and is also a pretty well-rounded power and finesse paddle. Let me know in the comments what you think, what paddles you liked and didn't like. If you have any of the paddles, what do you like about them, what you don't like about them. But let me know below. Keep her out for some more content coming soon. See ya.